Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am in a different location today. I'm filming on my phone because my studio is a work in progress. You will know if you follow me on Instagram. If you aren't aware, this week is Fashion Revolution Week and fashionrevolution.org contacted me to see if I wanted to be a part of one of their alternatives. So lots of you will know if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, there are a lot of hauls, which is buying lots and lots of new clothes and obviously that's just not really sustainable. I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of links and information in the description box below if you do want to learn a little bit more about it but essentially Fashion Revolution Week was born after the um, Rana Plaza collapse disaster where I think over a thousand people died during that collapse which um, I think was likely because of lack of safety standards and um, working conditions. Rana Plaza was a uh, garment manufacturing building. I think there were like several different facilities within that collapse. And a lot of the clothing that you see featured in these YouTube polls or just things you might buy on the high street are things that would be manufactured in a place like Rana Plaza. So the thought behind doing a whole turn into video is to find different ways of still enjoying fashion without feeding into that, I mean, awful industry, basically. So there are a bunch of ways of doing that, which could be uh, shopping secondhand, uh, buying from ethical companies, doing swaps with people. But what I'm gonna be doing is shopping my own collection because that doesn't involve buying anything new in any way. And I'm gonna be picking three outfits uh, which are going to be kind of work from home outfits. Now, if you guys work from home, you will know that you likely wear just outfits like this, which are pajama shorts and a giant t-shirt. And I often think that just dressing a little bit nicer kind of gets me in like a better frame of mind for work um, and being able to be in work mode versus like getting distracted by the other things that you need to do at home, like housework. If you guys do enjoy this style of video, I will happily do this, but for different occasions. So maybe I can do shop my collection for like uh, weddings or shop my collection for uh, maybe slightly more fancy things or business cash. I might be pushing a bit. So I really hope I did an okay job at explaining um, the thought behind Fashion Revolution Week as well as the alternative video. Not only are people working in terrible conditions, but also the garment industry obviously creates a lot of pollution. So I do think it's definitely time for people to start finding uh, alternatives. Uh, when they're filming their fashion videos on YouTube. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this idea. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my clothes away and then we will start shopping my collection a little bit. And um, let's cue the intro, which will be the fanciest part of this video. Okay, so my plan, sorry, <clears throat> finish your uh, mouthful, Ryan is like i said to pick three outfits that are kind of work from home outfits now for me i'm not like getting on you know like skype calls or anything like that but um i do like to when possible put in a little bit of effort just so i feel more like i'm in work mode and also so that if anyone were to stop by like the ups guy i don't look like i live in my robe 24 7 even though sometimes i do saying that my concern my main concern still is comfort so i want something that's going to make me feel put together but also going to be really comfortable i don't want any like zips or buttons to dig in i don't want to be like adjusting uncomfortable bras the whole time so soft clothes look nice put together that's probably about it typically i'm not gonna be wearing shoes around the house because i don't hate myself that much but i'm going to show you some shoe options too just in case you do want to slip something on to maybe go run some errands or even just dress it up a bit to go out at night too so uh, i guess i'll start <laughs> flicking through Now, I did start trying to shop a bit more ethically and be a bit more conscious in that way um, probably a year or two ago now. I'm not perfect by any means, but I would say my clothes buying overall has significantly reduced. When I am purchasing things, I really think about it, think about something that is going to both suit my needs at that specific moment as well as 
things that are gonna be classic and last forever too so there are a few brands that i've found that i feel confident buying new clothing from then i also go thrifting which we don't actually have a ton of options where i live but I do still find some great basics sometimes and there's also sites like thread up and the real real if you prefer designer things the real real is really good i'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description box too if you have my favorite maybe ethical or secondhand sites and please do feel free to leave yours in the comments as well because i am all ears all right so i think i've got my three outfits figured out in my head as you can see it's a, a very colorful selection um so i'm gonna go ahead and try them on and i will show you what it looks like on in the big mirror my first outfit the shorts are from mia coda they have the little moon thing on the back super comfortable they are an ethical brand as well then the brami on top is also from miyakota just a plain black cropped cami and then the shirt i think was thrifted but just like a chambray um shirt so i might actually tie it and then these shoes are sydney brown they are cork which is a great uh, material to be making things out of so yeah that is my first outfit option very comfortable very simple it's got a collar, so it's fancy in my books. A little bit nicer, more summery, but still really comfortable. So the top is from Free People, but you're going to be able to find things like this on places like Depop or maybe local thrift stores if you're maybe in a bit more populated area. We don't have a ton of options where I am locally. And then the jeans, these are American Eagle mom jeans. Again, you might be able to find great jeans that fit you thrifted if you're in a different area but um these are obviously ones i already had so the top is obviously off the shoulder which is not going to be um comfortable for everybody but for me super comfy I don't necessarily need to wear a bra and um i still feel cute in it i know a lot of you are probably like why on earth would you wear jeans if you don't have to the way my body is organized mum jeans are actually pretty comfortable for me especially um this kind of slightly thinner denim so um maybe i will pop my button but overall, they're pretty comfortable. And then, like I said, I wouldn't usually wear shoes in the house if I'm working from home, but these are a pair that I picked out for. If maybe I was gonna go out to dinner after or wanted something a little bit nicer to wear, they're still super comfortable. These are from Matt and Nat, and um, I really like this little outfit. One other thing, I know some people have asked if these tags on American Eagle jeans are leather. I don't know if that's all of the styles, but certainly this pair, this does not seem like leather to me. It seems like kind of a papery material. So that was outfit number two. Let's do number three. This is a Mia Coda bodysuit. Um, I just have like a little black um, lace bralette underneath. This is the back. <laughs> Great camera angles, Ryan. And then the pants are the Fiona style from Seaweed Denim. So really comfortable, but still kind of like slack. So a little <laughs> office maybe. And the shoes are from Rothy's, which you guys may have seen online. They are made of uh, recycled water bottles. They have different styles and colors and everything. So super comfy. And if I do want something to go on top, um, please hold. I've just picked out the Mia Coda long cardigan. I pretty much wear this with everything. I'll put it on top of pajamas, put it on top of a cute outfit if I want something a little warmer to wear on top. And yeah, that was outfit number three. That was fun. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of more casual style of video. It was filmed on my iPhone. Please do check out the Fashion Revolution website down below. Um, please take part in this if you are maybe someone who makes videos or if you just want to do this from home and maybe the next time you want to go shopping, either thrift or look it up online on like thread up places like that. Or if you have any other tips of your own on ways you've managed to cut down on buying fast fashion, please do leave them in the comments. Let's have a little chat about it. It's definitely still something that I am working on. I don't want to like give the illusion that I've figured it out and got it all down i haven't so i'm super happy to talk to you guys about it we can figure out ways that work for everyone because any small change does add up i feel like this is a really weird angle like i said i will put tons of information down below different documentaries you might want to watch different websites that can be helpful all of my social media will be on the end screen to come if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you in my next video bye